Satuati Klingit Kanach Kayanach Katua Sauch Dlet Ka Ke Nach Patrick Price Yua Khat Dua Sauch Yech Nachatsati Kiksadi Ayakat Kashkana Auch Ayakat Kagwantan Yadi Ayakat Kuchklen Gunas Chish Oho Hello my Klinkit name is Kayanak. My English given name is Patrick Price. Um, I'm Raven from the Frog House in Wrangell. Uh, my father was Eagle Wolf. His name was Cookie Price. Thank you very much for this opportunity to be here as a virtual artist in residence for Sea Alaska Heritage Institute. This is such an honor, and I'm so proud to be here right now. Um, I guess I'm just going to start off with a little bit of my history as an artist. Um, let's see. So I grew up in the village of Cake, Alaska. Uh, I lived on an island two miles offshore from Cake. It was about a 45-minute boat ride. Um, where I lived on this island with my dad and my brother and our dogs and it was just a beautiful beautiful scene really um, really just uh, got me living in nature full time and living a subsistence lifestyle uh, I went to school in the winters in Deshu up in the town of Haines Alaska and would kind of bounce back and forth between Haines and cake um so I grew up on this island, this beautiful island, and it was paradise for me. It was absolutely wonderful, and that subsistence lifestyle uh, just raised me, raised me right. Uh, I love that that fresh food from the land, and I love that the land up there in Alaska just keeps giving and giving. Um, so I turned 12, and my dad moved my brother and I from uh, from the islands in Cake to the town of Sitka and in Sitka uh, it was a little bit more of a city but it wasn't you know it wasn't that big I realized the best things about Sitka was being able to get out of Sitka and go out in the skiff and enjoy the islands and the beautiful beautiful scenery there um, it's really inspirational to me as a as a young adult growing up there in uh, you know the Tongass National Rainforest um, so a huge inspiration was living right next to the Sitka National Historical Park in Sitka um, where they have you know like over 30 totem poles and you know this awesome cultural center there and so naturally uh, living super you know just super close close by um, to the Sitka National Historical Park went there and got one of my first jobs and um, apprenticeships with the uh with the park under um a guy named tommy joseph he's my mentor for a few years there and i uh, worked with him closely as an apprentice and he basically was um one of the the lead uh lead you know master carvers who who taught me the form the art art form of form line he also helped me make some of my own carving tools and encouraged me to just keep practicing and to keep drawing those same shapes and designs of form line over and over and over again. Um, even got to help chip away on one of the totem poles there that they erected in the um, in the battleground is the Memor Catlian Memorial Pole. Um, got my my ads chips on there. Sent some. Uh, some chips flying in the air on that one um so that was all a huge inspiration for me to be an artist uh was being in and around the sick national historical park and being able to see these totem poles and this art um you know my whole life growing up uh in my high school years Sika was very beautiful and it was was again so inspirational for me to become an artist there um, so my father was an artist and he always encouraged me 
to pursue my dreams and and if I was good at something he would always encourage it and by you know supplying the markers or the pencils or the pens anything that I needed to be able to create the art that I wanted to uh, my father was a huge inspiration in that in that way uh, his father was Warren Price he was also an artist um, and gosh I remember being in his wood shop as just a little boy and just looking up at all the beautiful work and all the paintings that he made and being like wow I wish I wish I could do that one day um so I found a lot of inspiration in family for becoming an artist and uh there were a lot of influencers in my life that were that were like that 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 were just there for me and you know gave me these outlets of being able to produce art and and really kind of form it to my own uh, my own styles um, so I basically moved from Sitka back to Haynes and um, pursued you know uh, many different art forms um, I mostly stuck with traditional art and um, form line using traditional colors uh, also carving um, I did a lot of carving in Haynes, um, as well as working with some puppet groups and, you know, finding different, different mediums to be able to enjoy uh, myself artistically. Um, also kind of got me into the storytelling part of all this was growing up in Haynes as well as those long, long, uh, long winter nights in Haynes, Alaska, uh, telling stories next to a fire. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful scene there, northern lights and lots of snow. So, <laughs> uh, I moved out of Alaska about three years ago um, and moved down to Eugene, Oregon, where I met up with one of my best friends, um, one of my best childhood friends, who was really into the street art scene down here in Oregon. He was able to point me in the direction of the uh, the Ritz Sauna and Showers at the Oregon Country Fair. Um, a beautiful, beautiful place with uh, public showers, you know, during the fair scene. Um, and it's all decked out in uh, Northwest Coast uh, native art. And so I was able to step into the Ritz and they, they accepted me with open arms. And I uh, stepped in there uh, to be one of the resident artists and to produce their their uh, their native art for them. Um, some of my biggest pieces of work are at the Ritz, and I'm so proud of all that work. Uh, it's, it's just just uh, jaw dropping to walk in there and see that beautiful beautiful art and to hear the music and take a shower. It's just amazing. Um, so I did a bunch of work with the Ritz. This would be my third year now with them. Um, also in that time of moving down here, started to develop myself more artistically and be, you know, started moving towards becoming more of a professional artist. Uh, I started making my work into murals. And so um, I, had, I ho hosted a mural camp, uh, 14 students all produce this mural out at the Peterson barn in Eugene here and um, that was a wonderful project and we were able to do this giant mural on the side of this this Connex um, it's a, like a shipping container and we used some of my uh, art art form so like form line and incorporated that with some of the students work to be able to make this amazing beautiful mural with these with these students it's, it's, uh, this is a great, great time. I um, also had the time to work with my best friend on creating the hat that I'm wearing right now. He is an artist that um, creates uh, wearable art. And so we started by painting hats together. And uh, <laughs> and so this is actually I'm wearing one of the one of the hats that we made together, and this will be available soon. Um, also worked with uh, let's see a website called Urban Canvas. And Urban Canvas um, created a profile for me to be able to um, 
connect with people in and around Eugene for mural projects. And so they were, um, they have my profile on online and people can just go and check that out at urbancanvas.com and be able to see some of my art and see what I can do. And uh, I worked with them to be able to um, make these uh, food pantries with a place called Burrito Brigade. And the food pantries are just free pantries of food for people in need. And they were able to just drop this pantry off at my house. And so in my own studio, in my own place, I was able to work on this pantry and paint it and make it all beautiful and stuff and put it out there in the city uh, to supply food for people in need. Um, I love that project. That was such a, such a fun thing to do, be able to get my art out there. Also be able to you know, help people in need. Um, let's see here. Uh, wearable art. I do wearable wearable art. Um, so like the hat that I'm wearing now. Also, here's a fine example. It is one of the lids that I'll be um, working on here in the next couple days and finishing that up. Look for that on the shelves soon. Um, also created these stickers um, in conjunction with my my partner Ella Trash, who helped me design this sticker and create it for everyone you know, to share with everybody. You can also see the link on my social media pages, Facebook or Instagram, to be able to purchase these stickers. They're really cool. You can stick them into anything. Um, so for this uh, internship, um, I plan on doing well, uh, showing everybody how to how to start painting on a canvas. Um, so we'll do, you know, for the next video, we'll see some canvas prep and background work. Um, another video will show like uh, adding form line. Um, what is form line? Um, how do we apply it to the canvas itself after that? And also filling in just painting the canvas. So I'll do some informational videos showing my step-by-step -step process of painting like canvases like the ones behind me. Um, the next move videos will move into wearable art. Some mostly like prepping and preparing like say a hat or something for, um, you know, for painting. And so if you all want to get a hat and get it ready to, uh, to work with me, you'll, you'll probably be able to paint side by side with me during these next videos. And so uh, I'll have a, a video that'll show me basically prepping one of these hats and showing you how to paint on it. Um, yeah, applying images to wearable art. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see where that goes. Um, also, I might take the time for a good video of like the day in the life of an artist. Um, you know, what I do in the day to day down here in, uh, or in Oregon. And also a good tour of my studio. So we'll go ahead and do that in another video. Uh, also, um, I'll have an, probably one of my last videos will be um, introducing introducing myself as a storyteller, and so we'll be able to um, do some storytelling um, where you know where that's all evolved in my life, and I'll be able to share a story with y'all. So stay tuned for the next videos. Um, it's been a great opportunity for me to be here with you all and to share all this wonderful wonderful stuff. Thank you, uh, C Alaska Heritage Institute. And I'm so proud to be a virtual artist in residence. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.